Hi, I'm Rocky McCain, and today I'll be showing you how to make party appetizers with Little Smokies, bacon, and brown sugar. First thing what we're going to need to do is cut our bacons into third. Now what we're going to need to do is take this bacon and we're going to need to wrap it with these Hillshire Farm Little Smokies. Okay, so what you do first is you grab your bacon and you'll take it and you just wrap it around each and every little weenie. This is going to cook up real nice for you. After you have them wrapped, we want to hold them together with a toothpick. You just take the toothpick go straight through and then you just take them and you set them on your pan and then you want to just keep repeating this process until all of the bacon's gone and all of the little sausages are gone so I'm gonna roll a couple more and let you see how we do that it doesn't have to look perfect it's pretty much just a however you can get it once again Take another toothpick, right through, and you want to make sure you're setting all of these in a nice little line for a later step that we're going to need. Let me show them one more time. Grab your bacon. If you hold it, it kind of makes it a little easier when you hold it like this. Grab your weenie, store it at the end, and kind of just roll it along. The bacon should stick to it a little bit, so that helps with rolling it. Once again. Grab your toothpick, right through the weenie to hold the bacon together, and set it right on your tray. Okay, so we've got rid of our cutting board, we've wrapped all of our little smokies with bacon, and next what we need to do is we need to pour on brown sugar. You don't want to overdo it, but you still want to have a decent amount of it on it. So you just start grabbing your brown sugar, and you just start spreading it around the whole place. You want to cover each and every one of these, pretty much covering the whole pan. This is going to allow the bacon to cook with the brown sugar and caramelize and give it a real nice flavor. Cover each and every one. Okay, now I've put all my brown sugar all over them. I've already preset my oven for 350 degrees and you're going to want to cook these for about 25 to 30 minutes, give or take. You just have to kind of check the bacon. Um, so let's go ahead and put these in our oven. And now we wait. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes, so now we're going to want to go ahead and pull them out of the oven. And basically you're looking for, as you see, all of the brown sugar melted with the bacon juice and kind of gave it this bubble feeling. You uh, want to check and basically see that the bacon's to your liking. Some like it crispier, some like it a little chewier, but that's how it works. After you've let them cool for about five or ten minutes, they'll probably cook a little bit more on the plate with the bacon. You do the best part of the video. You taste test them. Here's to you guys.